Mary the little snail and Dolly the ladybird play with their forest friends in their happy little world. Dolly the ladybird and Mary the little snail always fun games to play, always a brand new tale. Mary and Dolly say, what will we learn today? The little bumblebee. Early one morning, Berry, Dolly and Balthazar went out to play in the meadow. They wanted to try out the new parachute the little bee had made. But a little bumblebee was picking lilac flowers and singing a happy song. The winter's gone and it's the spring. Lilac is my favourite thing. Balthazar was the first to greet her. Hello, little bumblebee. My name's Balthazar. This is Berry the Snail and Dolly the Ladybird. Who are you? My name's Betty. I was flying home and I decided to stop and pick lilac flowers in the meadow. We're on our way to try this new parachute. Do you want to come with us? Balthazar asked. I'd love to. Balthazar and Betty were the first to jump and then the other friends tried the colourful parachute. They played until it got dark. Will you play with us again tomorrow? Balthazar asked excitedly. I can't. I have to leave early tomorrow morning. My home is far away from here and I still have a long way to go. So Berry, Dolly and Balthazar said goodbye to Betty. Balthazar looked very upset, so Dolly asked him. What's wrong? <laughs> Balthazar's got a girlfriend, Berry laughed. Don't make fun of him, Berry, Dolly said angrily. You know what, Balthazar? Ask Betty to stay here. We can build her a house in the woods. That's a super idea. I'll go to the meadow tomorrow morning and ask her to stay. Balthazar, Dolly and Berry got up very early the next day. They hurried to the meadow to talk to Betty. But the friends were too late. The little bumblebee had already left. The only thing they found was a farewell note she'd left for them pinned to a tree. Balthazar sat down on the grass and started to cry. Berry didn't laugh at him this time. Let's go after her, the little snail said. I'm sure we can catch her up. Berry, you're such a slow snail. We'll never catch up with Betty if you don't hurry up. Berry was going to say something back to Balthazar when a hedgehog stepped out of the bushes. Perhaps I can help. Now I'm not too fast, but I'm sure I'm much faster than you three. The friends liked the idea. They built a little cart out of a horse chestnut shell and tied it to the hedgehog's spikes. The hedgehog cart was ready to roll. Let's rest a little while, Dolly suggested when it got dark. We'll carry on tomorrow morning. Balthazar started to cry again. We'll never find her. I can smell something sweet. It's lilac blossom. Lilac? Dolly wondered. But there aren't any lilac bushes around here. Let's look around. Would you like to come back and live with us? We could build you a little bumblebee house in a tree. You wouldn't have to fly back to your faraway home. We'd be so happy if you lived with us. That's a super idea. We'd all be very happy. Berry and Dolly nodded. Thank you. I'd love to come and live with you. Betty replied. She was happy. You came all this way to find me. That's so nice of you. They all jumped into the hedgehog cart and trundled back to the meadow. They started to build the house the very next morning. They built Betty a pretty tree house near the lilac field. When the bumblebee's house was ready, they had a big party. All the forest friends were invited. They danced and ate late into the night and made their new neighbour very welcome indeed. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? Spring.
Spring Sports Day. Berry, Dolly, Flutter and Balthazar were sitting by the lake, throwing pebbles into the water. Berry hit a floating log a couple of times and his friends clapped. Come down to the meadow now. The Spring Sports Day is about to start, Stanley told them all. Their forest friends had already gathered in the meadow. The little beetles all put their running shorts on and stood in line. They all ran as fast as they could. They had to run three times around the meadow. It's not fair! Eddie cheated! He cut the corner! Leapy, the grasshopper, shouted. There's to be no cheating! Let's start the competition again, but no cheating! Stanley came first, Leapy came second and Balthazar came third. Berry finished last. Balthazar and Eddie started whispering. He's as slow as a snail. Don't make fun of him. It's not nice, Dolly said angrily. Now it's time for the high jump. The one who can pick the highest apple is the winner, Alfonso said. The friends took a run and tried to jump as high as possible. Leapy got the highest apple, Flutter got the second one and Eddie the potato beetle grabbed the third apple. No matter how hard Berry tried, he couldn't even reach the lowest apple. I can't do it. I just can't do it, he sulked. Come on, Berry, you'll be better at the next race. Don't be sad, Rosita said. But Berry was too nervous to join the rolling race because he was frightened he'd crack his shell. The others all lined up and rolled from one end of the meadow to the other. Dolly was the fastest and she won. Now let's start flying, Alfonso said. The fastest to fly to the top of this tree and get a pine cone from there is the winner. The beetles started immediately. Flutter, Balthazar, Dolly and Zephyr all joined the race. Flutter was the fastest and got to the top of the tree first. I can't fly either, Berry snivelled. Don't be so angry, Berry. It's time for the skipping competition now. The fastest skipper wins. The four contestants started skipping. But suddenly, Berry got tangled in the rope and hurt himself. The others were worried and ran over to him. I'm not doing any more silly races. I can't do anything. I'm going home. We have to think of something. We have to cheer Berry up, Dolly said. You're right. What's he really good at? Rosita asked. I know, Flutter shouted. Throwing! That's a super idea, Balthazar agreed. Berry was the only one who could hit the log in the lake. They made five piles. The first one was made out of apples, the second of horse chestnuts, the third of pine cones, the fourth out of hazelnuts, and the fifth one out of pears. Dolly convinced Berry to come back to the meadow. It's time for the throwing competition. Do you want to join in? Rosita asked. Hooray! Throwing! Of course I'm in! Everybody had a go, but Berry was the best. He was the only one who managed to knock over all five piles. You see, Berry, I'm the best runner. Leapy's the best high jumper. Flutter's the best at flying. Dolly at rolling. Rosita can skip the fastest. And you're the best thrower. Everybody's good at something, Stanley explained. Berry got a beautiful, shiny chestnut engraved by Alfonso, which said, throwing first place. Berry and Dolly say, what will we learn today? Bubbles Tower. It was a lovely summer afternoon and Bubble the baby beetle decided to play with his colourful building blocks. I'm going to build a tall tower with my blocks, he thought to himself and carried them to a hill nearby. He tipped the bright blocks out of their box in the shade of a big oak tree. 
As the tower grew, it was harder and harder for Bubble to reach the top. He had to stand on tiptoe and was just reaching for the top when his hand slipped and the tower tumbled to the ground. Oh, no! Bubble complained. Now I have to start all over again. So the baby beetle started again from the beginning. The tower soon began to grow and was very tall indeed. But oh dear, an acorn from the oak tree knocked the baby beetle's tower down. My lovely tower! My tower's ruined again! It was the silly oak tree's fault, he said out loud. So little Bubbles started again, but this time he moved out from under the old oak tree. He was stacking the blocks on top of each other when his friends Berry the Snail, Dolly the Ladybug and Stanley the Stag Beetle came walking over. Wow, you've built a beautiful tower, Bubble, they all said. Yes, it's nearly finished. All I have to do is put the red triangle on the very top. But then the wind blew and toppled his tall tower. Bubble got very angry. I don't believe it. I don't want to build towers anymore. I'm going home. His friends ran after him. Bubble, wait! Why don't we rebuild your tower together? No, I don't want to build towers anymore. You can't build a really high tower with this many blocks anyway, grumbled. He went into his house and slammed the door shut. How can we help Bubble? Dolly puzzled. We've got to think of a way to cheer him up somehow. I know what we can do, Stanley said. I've got another set of building blocks at home. I'll go and fetch them so we can build a really high tower together. That's a super idea. I have a box full of building blocks too. And I'll bring mine. We'll build the tallest tower ever. Berry pulled his blocks in a little trailer. Dolly pushed hers in a wheelbarrow. And Stanley carried his in a big basket. Bubble, look, we brought our building blocks. Why don't we build a big tower together? Dolly asked nicely. We could build it in your house so that the wind won't knock it down again, Berry added. Goodness me, look at all those building blocks. We'll be able to build a very big tower with them, the baby beetle said with a smile. Now it's time to pop the red triangle on the top. You should put it on, Bubble, Stanley suggested. Hooray! It's finished! They all shouted together. Then Berry, Dolly and Stanley said goodnight to Bubble. The baby beetle went to bed very happy that night. He stared at the tower until he fell fast asleep.